Uwe Boll. And I just read an article uh, about Daniel Day Lewis, uh, why he stopped acting. So he said, um, I'm very sad. Like he didn't watch that movie with the Paul Thomas Anderson movie where he played the haute couture guy. Um, and he said it's the only movie he did what he didn't watch because it was like a big sadness came over him. And uh, also about the director Paul Thomas Anderson. And I have to say I know why. Because it is a boring piece of shit. And that is the problem with Paul Thomas Anderson. When he had the edge with Boogie Nights and There Will Be Blood and had real stories to tell, then there was something. And you could be proud of these movies. And then Megan Allison came along and gives that artificial makes out of Paul Thomas Anderson the same idiot like Terrence Malick. You know, so, and then they basically making movies about subject matter, or subject matters, they're just fucking boring. And uh, uh, I'm sure Dan Lewis will play that guy flawless. He did research to uh, cut his own costumes and stuff like this for half a year as a preparation. But that deep inner sadness that you basically waste your time with a movie like this and then feel like I shouldn't act anymore because I spent two years being a fucking idiot, putting some nice dresses together. Uh, that basically adds up in that situation where you feel like, oh God, it's just too much. You know, I mean, Lincoln was already also a movie. It was kind of a history movie, like a movie of the week. I'm the biggest fan of the movie. It was a very good acting. He got the Oscar for it. But think about Daniel De lewis in The Last Mohican or In the Name of the Father, uh, My Left Foot. You know, like he did so great stuff in the, also Gangs of New York and so on. And then the energy slowly moved out of it. Now he's 60. And maybe it's the right decision to do something else uh, in his life. I think he's like uh, definitely uh, an actor who, who carefully picked his projects and uh, is a great, great massive character actor, you know. But uh, uh, only because he made so few movies means not he's the greatest actor ever existed. I think he's a very, very strong, very, very good actor. And uh, as I always said, that would be blood is my favorite movie of the last like 15 years so uh, and that is the reason I'm sad about a guy like Paul Thomas Anderson because he has it in him and I hope he's just taking back stories they matter I mean the world uh, is full of bribery corruption people dying because there's no health care anymore the tax reform what passed today is by the way also allowing uh, drilling in the Arctic. Uh, that was is in the tax reform. Uh, funny you know, that the Republicans were able to to put that in, like for money reasons to get more tax dollars. They allowed uh, drilling in the nature the reserves in the Arctic and Alaska. Um, I'm sure, Sarah Palin is very ha happy about it. And so think about it. I mean, it, it's so um, unbelievable to see the world dissolving. And at the same time, uh, why you make a movie about uh, a, a guy uh, who's making wardrobe? You know, I mean, that is the thing. What I don't get that as the last movie, I mean, it's crazy. You know, I wish I would ever got a guy like Daniel Day Lewis. Like you know, if he would play the sound on Wall Street, I mean, how how that movie would turn out? You know, I mean, the movie is very good. Dominic Purcell is very good, but it would be a, a different class based on the intensity of an actor who brings more on screen as what is written in front of him or what the director tells him. And that is the thing, like where uh, I just saw the doku about uh, Jim Carrey playing Andy Kaufman in Man in the Moon. And it's exactly that an excellent doku on, on Netflix and where you stayed in that character, in the two characters, Andy Kaufman and the other scumbag uh, Andy Kaufman played, during the whole shoot, and he drove like the Danny DeVito and all the side actors, uh, 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 and Milos Forman, the director, he drove them crazy. But because uh, of, the uh, of the intensity, that movie turned out to be sensational good. Sensational good, very interesting. Otherwise, it would be a boring movie because Andy Kaufman, to be honest, was like a, was not funny, he was an idiot. And uh, I think he did a lot of uh, things. He, he made reality TV early, basically early reality TV, you know, doing the catching stuff with the wrestling stuff like this. But I never thought he was funny in Taxi 
with what was the Judd Nelson or whatever. I, I, I never had anything for any Kaufman, but because of how the drama turns with him dying of cancer and uh, Jim Carrey going deep into that character in the same quality like Adana De Lewis is doing it, um, that made that movie special. And even if Miller's Foreman maybe hated the movie and felt like, oh my God, what, what I'm doing here, I never showed a movie like this, it's completely absurd. And uh, scared various times that the movie breaks completely apart, he can be very, very thankful to Jim Carrey pulling it off like this. Did an excellent, excellent job, Jim Carrey on this, and it shows also that in Jim Carrey is a lot, a lot of talent, and uh, it's an, also an, a very crazy career with Jim Carrey if you think about it. You know, from like being the poor comedian to in then like the Truman Show, like Oscar worthy uh, acting, and uh, Eternal Sunshine. The thing was very good. Uh, the Man on the Moon. So, and then having a personal crisis in a way, and then his wife, girlfriend did suicide, and he got accused that he gave her drugs, and uh, he dissolves out of the box office, uh, going in a way a little down the drain. Um, let's see how, how Jim Carrey will stop or end uh, as an actor, you know? He gets older, it's not, he cannot do that funny stuff anymore, um, where like the, uh, Ace Ventura or something where the people loved him for. Um, now yeah, but yeah, too bad. I would love to see a Daniel Day Lewis in more movies, more good movies, but I have no desire to go and watch that movie now from Paul Thomas Anderson. I will wait till I watch it on Netflix or Movie Central or HBO or whatever. So, um, that was my message for the day.